You're going head to head, boys versus girls. One, two, three. Today we are doing the candy telepathy challenge. And it's boys versus girls. Who's gonna win? Girls. Girls, girls, girls. Girls. We've done a different telepathy challenge before, and who won that one? The girls. girls. Dun, dun, dun. Boys, are you gonna redeem yourselves? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do four rounds. Each round, your goal is to pick the same as your partner. And the winner gets to eat some candy. Round one. Okay, I'm gonna count to three and you guys point to the one you want. Ready? One, two, three. Show each other which one you chose. We got it right! <laughs> one point for the girls. Yeah. Round one for the boys. One, two, three. All right, show each other what you picked. Oh. The score is one to zero. Welcome to round two. This time we have milk, chocolate, peanut butter, and caramel. In the pool, let us know which one you would choose. One, two, three. Show each other your answer. Yeah! yeah! High five. On the count of three, I want you guys to point to the one you choose. One, two, three, choose. Show each other your answer. The score is two to one. Ooh, the boys have won. So we have gobstoppers, sweet tarts, and sprees. In the poll, tell us which one you would choose. I wonder what I'll pick. Round three. This is a hard round. Think about it. Really think about it. You're trying to choose the same one as your sister. One, two, three, point. Okay, show, show each other your answers. <laughs> Welcome to round three. On the count of three, point to the one you choose. Try to think just like your brother. You guys share a bedroom. You guys share so many things. Try to think. Are you guys ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> How I chose Gobstoppers was because I knew my brother loves Gobstoppers. It's like one of his favorite candies. Very good thinking. It worked. So in round four, we have Charleston Chews, Milk Duds, and Sugar Babies. This is the most challenging round. I don't know any of these candies. You guys have to get this one. Tell us in the poll what you would pick. One, two, three. Show each other. Yeah! <laughs> we got it! Now we have a chance! I chose this one because it's the only one I know. So the score is tied. <gasps> the score is three to three and we are in round four. Elise, be calm and try to pick the same one. One, two, three. Okay, show each other. Ah! You guys have done so well. You were three out of four. That's incredible. We're going to have to do a tiebreaker. I think it's kind of crazy how much they pick the same. I mean, three and three out of four chances. That's incredible. You guys have a chance. Yeah! The girls didn't get it. It's a tiebreaker, Caleb. That was a crazy comeback. So there is caramel M&M's, Sour Patch Kids, and Sweet Tarts. So you're allowed to point to the same one. So Caleb, you're only trying to match with Isaac. And Elise, you're only trying to match with Laura. So if you both choose the same one, that's okay. For the final round, tiebreaker, you're going head to head, boys versus girls. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, ready? Show each other. No! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to call it a tie. Yep. <laughs> Good job, boys and girls. <laughs> Should we all eat candy? Yeah! So all the kids get to choose a candy to eat now? Which one will they choose?
Which candy would you choose to eat? Caramel and then I would choose Charleston too because they look really good and I've never had them before, but normally I think I'd choose the Swedish fish. I'm still deciding. So I'm either doing a Charleston chew or a sugar baby. I looked at their ingredients and they have almost the same exact ingredients. Probably lots of sugar. I'll do sugar babies. Sounds like there's more in this package. So I'm going with sugar babies. Lisey's getting ready to go to a soccer game, but which candy box would you choose? Caramel M&Ms. Really? <laughs> Thank you for watching, Jay House out. Thanks for watching, Jay House out. Right, show each other.